let me tell you something as much as I have a high voice and naturally I sing soprano, Glorilla make me want to be a tenor. Like anytime I hear Glorilla, I instantly turn into a 600 pound man. You Morning, what can I get for you today? Hi, I have a mobile order for Faye. You said Faye? Yes, Faye. Perfect, come on through. Thank you. Good morning. So first of all, my parents, I just need you to mind your business, okay? Mind it well. So um, last night, I started filming the video that I told y'all about in the previous vlog. First of all, what's up? Good morning, boo. Welcome back to another vlog. Child, bro, I'm just gonna talk without speaking. But I started filming the video uh, for the Ajwa Beauty video that I told y'all about with the melon berry leave-in. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I washed my hair, I conditioned it, I had the intro filmed and everything. And when it was time to start filming the actual, like the work of the video, I just didn't want to do it. So right now I got these little pigtails going on and a cap to cover it. Cause I'm going to go to the black girl sanctuary. That is the beauty supply. And that's why I didn't feel too bad about coming out the house like this. Cause y'all know it's black girl rule. When you walk in the beauty supply, we do not judge each other because if you go in there looking a mess, that means you about to get yourself together. So it's, it's our safe place. So, um, the reason I'm going to the beauty supply is because I decided to do some boho twist but i'm gonna use some extensions this time and i'm gonna film it right now like the boho box braids are trending but it's faster for me to do twists and y'all know i'm a mama i gotta keep up with the baby so i gotta do the thing that's fast so i'm gonna do the twist video and i'm gonna get that posted soon um and then right now with me working out and stuff that's actually a good look for me but i booked another sponsorship and y'all get the tea first y'all i'm getting ready to get some tape in and it's so funny how like it just things be so orchestrated in your future because like I seriously have been considering wearing my hair straight for a while, but y'all know I'm dealing with some thinness. And then when the company hit me up and they was just like, would you like to try some micro links? I was like, absolutely not. And I don't know what it is about the metal in the hair that I was just like, no. And then they said, well, what about some tapings? We like your content. We really, really like you. Would you be interested? And I was just like, you know what? I'll do this. So I'm getting ready to get some tapings. They say it should be here by the end of the week. So um, I'm only going to wear these twists for about a week. And then I'm going to do the tape in video. And I can't wait to see it. Just like, just to have a different look. Just kind of like, so I feel like since I became a mom, I've been really trying to do more stuff for myself outside of the box just things to make me feel special i just want to try new stuff i just i want to try different looks and stuff now i'm i'm staying natural be clear okay well, that's how we get down um but i just want to kind of experiment a little bit and have a little fun with my hair especially while i know eventually i'm gonna end up getting a haircut because of all of the fallout and stuff from postpartum shedding um so Anyway, I say all that to say, honey, we're getting ready to head to the beauty spot to get myself together. I gotta get myself together because I got some place to go. All right, so I am here. I'm getting the hair, but I want some lashes simply because I have not had a chance to get my lash extensions done. All of them fell off. And until I can get into her um, getting an uh, opening or something, I don't know what's going on. But until I can get in um, for an appointment, I'm gonna do my own individuals at home. And uh, let's see, oh, these are all strips. Ooh, oh, they cute too, damn. Now focus, okay, let's do individuals. And I like individuals because I can just wake up and be cute without having to put on some glue every single day. So, they got to have some somewhere, child. Now what is, what's going on? Okay, they don't have any, so we're gonna have to go to Sally, but I might just do that later. I need to go ahead and get these, um, twist in so let's look at the hair and listen to me listen i don't care how well off i become in life and how much money i have every single hoop earring that i'm getting is coming from the beauty supply i just listen that's how i get down and yes god has blessed me but i ain't never too blessed i ain't gonna spend two dollars on some earrings okay all right so i just pulled up at sally i'm getting ready to get me some lashes now the thing that i'm looking for in my individual lashes is to make sure it don't have a little ball at the end because sometimes for certain brands when they had the little ball at the back of the individual lashes you can see it when you put it on so i'm gonna look for one that has like the straight line as opposed to the little lash and then you know we're gonna do some uh similar size hand as well all right so i'm out of the store i found some lashes that although it had the little ball it's a little flatter so i think i'll be able to work with it a lot better because the last thing you want is to have them individuals on and be like oh what's going on with your eye honey and so anyway i in there um i walked over to the hair aisle just to see what they had if it was anything new that i had never seen everything was pretty basic with the exception of one thing the thing that i saw was earth supplied earth supply got some new stylers and i just <laughs> I had so much hope for that line, but I'm gonna be honest, that's one of the worst lines I have ever 
tried. I might give it another try now that I have a, a you know a larger knowledge of how to take care of my hair. But honestly, I'm lying. No, I'm not. You got 99 problems and the biggest one is me. Let me tell you something. As much as I have a high voice and naturally I sing soprano, Glorilla make me want to be a tenor. Like anytime I hear Glorilla, I instantly turn into a 600 pound man. You know, he got 99 problems and the biggest one is me. So anyway, child, I'm just a chomping on his gum. Anyway, I just left the gym. I had a training session with my trainer. It was what it was and torture. And then I just came to Target to pick up a pickup order. I had to get some um, bottled water to make my baby's bottles. Um, what else did I have to get? I had to get some cleaning supplies. Um, I just needed stuff for the house and it was best that I not walk in there because I didn't be and walked out with like a cart full of crap that I just do not need. So anyway, um, speaking of things I do not need but I want, there's this dish, right? Okay, so um, last year I went to LA. It's, it came, was that last year? Or was it two years ago? It was, uh, just a, it was last year. Child, listen, when I say life been a blur from that house arrest situation we went through. But anyway, last year I went to LA to um, see my cousin and he introduced me to this restaurant called Tender Greens. And of course they do not have that in St. Louis. Hi, I live in St. Louis, it is middle America and a lot of things y'all have and you know, listen, we don't even have a Zara here. Child, she's stirring me all in my mouth. Girl, why don't you mind your business? Anywho, um, there was this avocado toast that I had every single day while I was in LA and I have thought about it plenty of times since then but of course i can't get it because they don't have a tender greens here and so i'm gonna try to make it so i looked up the um recipe or well the ingredients so i can know what is on it so that i can actually um make it and so on the avocado toast they have hold on let me see i'm trying to find it just so i can make sure i got it right my lips are dry i need to do a scrub and let me say this because sometimes people will be like, why are you saying this or why are you saying that? Listen, anytime you hear a content creator saying, oh, my lashes are messed up or oh, my hair is messed up or oh, I'm sorry for not posting or oh, I'm, listen, it is because sometimes your audience as loving and well-intentioned, as loving and well-intentioned as they may be, they get a little spoiled. And sometimes they call things to your attention that you may not necessarily want. So if I know my lashes are messed up, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to your attention first so you don't feel the need to comment because while you may be one person to comment about it, 20 more people may do it too. Okay, so I have 159,000 subscribers. Thank y'all so much for following me. So say on one video, 10,000 people watch it, right? And then there's a thousand comments. Well, there'll probably be 20 to 50 saying, where's the hair content? Or I miss you doing hair content or, your lashes are messed up. I had somebody email me one time because I needed a lash fill and she said, I wanted uh, to adjust your crown. So I just want to let you know your lashes don't look good. So that's why content creators say things ahead of time so y'all can leave us alone. So if you ever hear me repeating myself, it's because number one, not everybody watches every single video. So that's why you'll hear me regularly say, I'm sorry for not posting as much. It's because somebody from three months ago may all of a sudden pop up and be like, where you been? And listen, there's a method to our madness. So just, just know if we're repeating something, if we are calling something to your attention, it is to buffer the amount of comments that we will get about that. That's why you'll regularly hear me say, there's no hair content or the hair content is limited. That's because I get tired of constantly hearing, where's the wash days, where's the wash and go, where's the wash days, where's the wash and go, leave me alone. And to those of you all who get it, the girls that get it, get it, and I appreciate y'all, but to those who don't, you get your disclaimer. So anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, avocado toast. I know y'all ain't took it off the menu because y'all gonna make me mad with that. I know that it has. They took it off the menu. No! I need my recipe. Oh no, no! Why would y'all do that to me? Okay, let me try a different restaurant because he was in downtown LA. Maybe they got different. We gonna hope and pray that y'all have different stuff at different places because if y'all took that off the menu, I'm gonna be so mad. They took it off the menu. Why would y'all do that? Why would y'all do that? Now I ain't gonna never get my avocado toast. I am so mad! All I know is it, it was some bread, it was lemon ricotta, it had avocado on top. I know it had chilies. <sighs> Child, I'm straight. I don't even wanna talk no more. Can I get started for you? Hi, I have a mobile order for Faye. 
Shay. Say good morning. So I am on the way to the gym. I don't know when the last time I picked up a camera, so just pretend it's the next day. But anyway, um, I'm trying a new coffee recipe um, because usually the stuff I get is cold. But there's um, one of my subscriber homies. I call her a subscriber homie because I met her as a subscriber, but we be chatting in the DM sometimes. Her name is Janine or Jeannie. Child, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, boo. But um, there's she sends me recipes. There's um, an Instagram account. I think it's called Miss Jen Lifts or something like that. She does a lot of coffee recipes at Starbucks and makes them for those who are working out. So for today's coffee, um, this is my first time trying this because this is hot because like I usually get cold brews. Um, but this is a latte and I got it with almond milk. I got two pumps of hazelnut syrup. She said to do one, but listen, I, I need to love sweetness. I'm a child. So I got two pumps of hazelnut syrup and four pumps of sugar-free vanilla. Um, she actually has the macros and stuff, and I'll put it on the screen if you're into like the whole macro counting thing. Um, but that's for one pump of hazelnut syrup. But like I said, I needed two because, yeah. This is good. Now, it's, it, it's not like um, my favorite, which is the white chocolate mocha. It ain't white chocolate mocha type good, but it's it's healthy coffee good. I'll put it that way. So anyway, I am on the way to the gym, and I usually hate getting up at the butt crack of dawn and going like with the before work crowd or even the after work crowd. I don't like being there with a lot of people because, you know, people get flexed and stuff. It's real annoying, especially like with the smelly dudes and stuff, which is why I, I have my gym because they have a women's only room so I can get away from all that extra testosterone. Um, but anyway, I had to get up early because I have to work around the baby schedule and when people can watch him, either his dad or my mom or something. And in addition to working around the baby schedule, I have to work around my schedule. I had to take my car to the shop today. Adulting things, you know, I got to get a flat fix. I need an oil change. Just, yeah, all the adult stuff, the boring stuff. So I have to get my work out in while I can, while I have my car and while somebody can be with the baby. And so today is not going to be too much of a fun day. Um, I did go grocery shopping last night, so I might do a little bit of meal prepping, let y'all see how I eat throughout the week um and then what else do i have to do i think i want to put my bed together today that might be a good task but i don't know whatever i have to do i'll figure that out later but right now i need to let some of this coffee get in my system and head up to the gym right now it is 7 15 and y'all know that before work crowd is usually between six and eight so i might have to fight for a machine i don't know but either way it go i need some caffeine so i can get some wake up and machando all right, and we're in the mobile spot. I hope I ain't too washed out. So today, uh, first of all, another Starbucks run. I saw a new recipe I decided to try. I needed it because I am exhausted. My baby had gas last night, so he didn't sleep that well, which means I didn't sleep that well, so I need some coffee to get through today. So I'm getting ready to try this new recipe. We're gonna try it together, and then I have to go shopping. So here's the dilemma. You know, mother lost weight, yay. Mother ain't got nothing to wear. Boo! So, with me losing weight, um, a lot of my clothes, they, they just do not, they, they mm -mm, no. It's too big. And so, um, today, I actually have an event to go to. Uh, my trainer is having a thing for all of his clients. It's at this axe throwing place. And so, I'm supposed to go, but I ain't had nothing to wear. So, last week, I made an order with Fashion Nova. Baby, count your dates. I made the order. It literally was shipped the next day. I had a tracking order and I'm, I ordered it last Friday. And today is Saturday, so it's been eight days. And so what happened was, it did the shipping and all of that, but then come Wednesday, all the updates on the, tr the tracking, it just stopped. Like it literally just stopped on Wednesday and it doesn't say when it's coming. Like it was supposed to arrive yesterday, it just never showed up. And so now I'm just like, where my stuff at? And it wasn't nothing but a jacket. So I bought some jeans that I also bought from Fashion Nova. I bought it the next day after I bought the jacket. The jeans been here for two days. So I got some jeans, um, but I had uh, in my jeans, a white top and like a crop uh, varsity jacket. It was going to be so good. <laughs> Cause I wanted to give a sporty spice, you understand me? But the jacket ain't here. And so I was like, I could wait to see if it shows today or I could just go ahead and go shopping. So I decided I'm gonna go shopping. And so that's why I need some coffee because I don't have no energy, so I gotta push through with that. So um, I need to go shopping. And the thing is with St. Louis, I love St. Louis. You'll never take, listen, I love St. Louis. The shopping, mm-mm. Thank you. No problem. All right. There you go. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Oh, that's a good. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. We getting ready to try this. But what I was saying was the shopping, like we don't have Zara or anything like that where you can just walk in and know you're gonna grab something cute. We do have H&M that's about the closest to it. So I said I'm gonna go to West County Mall. I'm gonna look in H&M. I'll also check out Nordstrom. If I don't see anything, I might even run to Nordstrom Rack too. I mean, we got Forever 21 here, but I mean, I'm, and I'm not against Forever 21. I ain't knocking it, cause you know, I've shopped there too. But mother grown up, okay? Mother mother now, mother don't want to put that on. Cause you've been and bought something cute from Forever 21, you get it and on the back it got like a little crazy inspirational quote and then make you a little depressed too. I just, no, I don't have time for Forever 21. No, uh, let's try this out. So this is a grande ice macchiato for my health buffs. I'll put the macros that she said has this, um, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. So it's order a uh, grande ice crema macchiato i get it with almond milk um and then i got it with the blind espresso and then i got one pump of hazelnut syrup now it does come with vanilla syrup i took the vanilla out and substituted it for sugar-free vanilla i don't even know if y'all can see that but i'll put it on the screen so um yeah this is what it looks like it, look, it just looks so cute hold on let me take a picture because you know all things is content Hold on, am I gonna look crazy? Yeah, it's giving very much so influences. So we just gonna sit right here anyway. So let's run to the mall and see if um, I can find me a cute little jacket or even a top. But yeah, I just gotta switch up my whole plan for today. That actually really sucks. Fashion over, count your day. So I just got to the mall and right at the entrance is Forever 21. Honey, it just looks so chaotic in there. Like that just, ooh, that clutter child. I don't know if I could do it, but I'm gonna stop in and just see if they have something. Not they got the knockoff Skims loungewear. I know that's right. I haven't been in a Forever 21 in a long time and I ain't even gonna hold you. They got some really cute stuff in here. All right, so they had a few cute pieces that caught my eye, but nothing that I loved enough to be like, oh, this is, yeah, that's the one. So let's go to Sephora because it's right there. Now they act funny here when it comes to recording. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog, but the purpose that I'm going in here is to try out some fresh scent. And you know, if I decide I see something else in there I want, I'm gonna get that too. But you know, mind your business. I got it. I'm so excited because uh, it was something I wasn't thinking that I was gonna get. Hold on. Do, do them things be authentic in the middle of the mall? I ain't shopping with them, but still, I remember when I was little, they used to have like the jewelry people in the middle of the mall. They used to always have like the chunky gold rings because like back then, like them nugget rings was in style and it was always in the middle of the mall. So I'm wondering when it comes to them perfumes, do it be authentic or do it be something they done got from Alibaba and they just selling it to us? I don't know. I ain't finna take no chances, honey. I don't need my neck breaking out in blisters and stuff. And we are back. Okay, so my Sephora run, great. But why was I walking to the car and realized, girl, you forgot the whole reason you came here. I ain't get a shirt. I went in there doing smell tests and I thought that what I wanted was something that is like relative to like a laundry type smell, like it was super fresh and clean. But what I realized as I was spraying stuff and smelling it is it wasn't the laundry that I was looking for. I was looking for something aquatic with a little bit of a citrus note to it. So I was doing all these smells and um, I saw the warm cotton that Alexis um, recommended, but evidently it's really popular. And so the sample bottle was empty. So the salesman was helping me and she said, let me go get a roller ball and let's see if that works. But while she was doing that, I saw this perfume and the color green caught my eye. And I was like, usually that's more so fresher. Uh, let me try it. And that's the one I ended up loving. And that is Chanel Chan's of French or however you say it, I don't know. I usually, listen, for years I wore the uh, Chanel Chan's of Tendre, absolute favorite. Like seriously, it was a daily perfume for me. That was my signature scent. That one, and then eventually I went to Lancome Edol. They kind of like simple, uh, similar, I should say. Um, but this one I never got. I always liked the pink one. So um, something about the color, and then even like Sephora has these little things on there where it would either be a piece of fruit or uh, like uh, something blue or something. It, it's color coded and has a symbol to kind of let you know the family of fragrance it is. This one, um, <clears throat> they said it was, I didn't know it was this small child. Now, wait a minute, this is childish. What is that? Girl, this is li little. Whatever, they give me time to like really, really play with it. Cause literally I just sprayed it on the uh, paper. I didn't even spray my skin. So I don't know how this is gonna work with my pheromones. So maybe it was divinely orchestrated for me to get this little one. But anyway, I got it and it just, it was exactly what I was looking for. This, oh my goodness. This is 
everything and i hope it's like the pink one because the pink one is long lasting or oh tandre i should say is long lasting every time i wear it i get compliments on it like seriously i love it but this one definitely is it it has some floral to it but i definitely smell the citrus the citrus is very strong on it what's the notes on this thing and they still ain't updated my tracking oh fashion over control days all right so i just pulled up to nordstrom and let me say this as i was pulling up a bronco was pulling out and <laughs> y'all about to pull my race car so when the bronco pulled out my mind automatically associates any type of bronco i don't care if it is an updated version anytime i see a bronco i automatically associate it with oj simpson right and can i tell y'all something and y'all don't take my black car from me i'm one of the people that actually think oj did it okay bye um so I used to work for Nordstrom probably 10 years ago um, and I have not shopped inside of a Nordstrom rack in about that amount of time. I don't know what I thought this store was. Let's go somewhere else. Honey, it's giving suburban soccer mom and I just, mm -mm, I'm trying to give hoochie. Real quick, as I was walking out of Nordstrom Rec, I saw a subscriber and she said, hey, Faye, and I'm like, where I know you from? And she's like, you don't know me. And I was like, you must be from YouTube. She said, yeah, so hey, child. And we are back. I did not get much footage except for one clip of my trainer being the clown that he is, but I didn't get any footage because, okay, so y'all may not know this about me, but I am naturally very, very shy. I'm introverted. And if I don't know you, I tend to be quiet around you. And so when I went to the event, of course, the only person I knew was my trainer. So I had two options. Either I could sit there and be quiet and just be alone, or I could step outside of my natural personality and start mingling. So I met some people and it was real, real cool. And like, I had a good time. I was terrible at throwing the axe. Listen to me, terrible, but I had fun. And it was cool to meet some people, um, but I ain't gonna stick a camera in somebody's face. It's my first time meeting them. It's like weird. So anyway, outside of that, I really don't have anything else to share for the night. I'm getting ready to bath time, dinner, bottle, stuff like that. I'm basically on mommy duty, so. Um, it was nice to get out of the house though, so um, yeah. I'll see y'all more, I think. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Quick mall run, I just pulled up. Honey, we're getting ready to take this bad boy back. I absolutely loved it. Um, but what I did not realize when I bought it was it is a toilet instead of a perfume. And if you know about that, um, that means it's smaller alcohol consistency, which means it doesn't necessarily last as long. Some toilets, they do actually um, have some longevity to it because I think Versace Yellow Diamond does, that it does really well on me. But this, I noticed that I couldn't get the scent to last past two hours even with doing the Vaseline trick and all of that it just does not last on me now if this was one of my like 25 30 dollar perfumes that I just throw on just to get out the house and run to the store okay this was like 70 something which honestly is not expensive especially compared to other things in my collection this ain't expensive at all but when it's 70 something dollars I wanted to have a little bit more longevity than my $25 stuff. And honey, my uh, So De Janeiro, the 62 body mist, that lasts longer than this and it's cheaper. So I was like, oh no, honey, we're gonna take this back. Now, if there is something in there that I find that fits what I'm looking for, then I'll get it. If not, I'll just let it go. But honestly, I really, really love the smell of this. Like, I really love it. I just wish it lasts longer. So let's go ahead and go in there. I got it. Okay, so the last time I was here, I tried to smell uh, Warm Cotton by Clean Reserve and the tester bottle was completely empty. I could smell the bottle itself, but as far as the spray, I couldn't smell it. But honey, I went in there today, they had a brand new tester. And when I was like, ring me up immediately, I mean that thing. So shout out to me. I got a new gown. So since I am off baby duty, I am considering taking myself out to lunch while I have some free time. So look, um, all my life, well not all my life, not to be dramatic, but for years I was scared to try raw oysters it's because like, the thought of a raw, ugh. but earlier this year, I tried it for the first time and it turned out it was all mental. When I say I loved it, I have been craving oysters ever since. And what I found was um, it was briny. I guess that's kind of like their way of saying salty or whatever. I, I wouldn't want it if it was sweet, um, but they was like, some of them can be creamy. I don't want that. It was really, really briny. And then the sauce that I put with it was so 
freaking amazing now the place that i experienced it at is on the complete other side of st louis it's in central west and um at a place called juniper if you're in st louis i don't want to go from west county to there then i'm not gonna be traveling for no oysters so i found this restaurant in west county well i didn't find them i just didn't know that they had oysters and it's called golf shores it's a black owned spot and so i think i'm gonna check them out real quick i don't know like i just i just want some oysters but that kind of goes into my dietary change that i haven't shared with youtube yet honey first of all i smell good to the mug now, what's the notes on this thing this thing is amazing dietary change y'all i have decided to go back to my pescatarian lifestyle so years ago and i want to say at least 10 years ago um and i did it for at least two years the healthiest that i have ever felt in my adult life was when i was pescatarian um because i know me i i just i have a horrible sweet tooth i love soda and stuff like that stuff i'm not supposed to have and so the healthiest i ever felt was when i was pescatarian um i basically was vegetarian but would allow myself seafood from time to time and then i did not drink any soda and i did not eat any candy honey I have the taste buds of your five-year-old nephew just like if it's sweet and sugary give it to me and I have to tame it and so I um I feel like I want to go back to that um and I'm really excited about it because I remember just how good I felt when I ate like that and then one particular day um I was I think I was out to eat with family and the place that I went to it didn't have seafood and so I ate some fried chicken honey it was down here every since and so um I just want to go back to that feeling and I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life but I definitely am looking forward to it so um I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it or not but I'm gonna find me something to eat I'm gonna possibly go to a restaurant and check out their oysters um and then i know i need to go to the seafood market it's in um u city in st louis it's called seafood city now when you walk up in there it's it, it, it's giving very seafood who is this so anyway yeah that's the agenda for the day go out to eat and go to the grocery store possibly i don't know because i don't know what time i gotta pick up the baby <laughs> adulting sucks so i came to the restaurant and i got a half a dozen oysters and some spinach and sometimes I be forgetting about the weight loss surgery. Like with certain foods, I don't feel the surgery restriction at all. But then when it's something like really dense with protein and stuff like that, like with fish, I get full easily. So I only ate three. Now, of course, I can't take it to go because ill, but y'all, it was so good. Now, they, as far as the sauce goes, instead of the briny sauce that I had last time, they gave me cocktail sauce, and then I mixed some with this little, I don't know if this is horseradish or something. Y'all, that's like more singer with an oyster experience. Y'all let me know what this is. Um, I got a little cocktail sauce in it, but I blended it together and put it on top. It was really, really good. So, like, for sure, I know for a fact that that one experience was not a fluke. I actually really really do like oysters. This was very enjoyable. I kind of want to sit here a little bit and let my stomach ease up and eat the rest so my money is not wasted but at the same time I don't want to be stuffing myself so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go but this was amazing and it really feels good to get out of the house like seriously mom and me needing a break like I love being a mother love being a mother but it feels good to get outdoors and so um anyway I didn't went to the mall and went to eat so now it's time to get back to mommy duty but this made my spirit feel good morning sugar and welcome to my closet speaking of closet something finally came my jacket from fashion nova um it was just like a little crop jacket that I wanted to wear but I'm sure I have another event to wear too but speaking of wear here is my perfume collection it's looking mighty fine and i definitely i'm loving when i say i'm obsessed with this clay reserve it is everything but what is not everything is this yeah yeah let's talk about it so i told y'all i've been on this journey to be my highest self and that also includes my fashions and so these are all of my clothes and i'm getting ready to sort through it if it is not in alignment with the way I want to take my fashion direction if it is not in alignment with my higher self if it ain't in alignment with making me look like the baddie I am it gotta go honey so like all my pajamas they got weave glue and bleach stains on it I'm throwing it away anything that can be donated I will but bottom line when I say I'm ready for my glow up season it starts now that's what I mean so I'm getting ready to go through all this stuff and if it if it don't match where I'm going in my life it got to go so uh I ain't even gonna put y'all through 
uh, watching me get rid of this stuff that like that, that <laughs> that'll be a lot. I'm gonna just show y'all the end result. Hopefully it'll be today. If not, next scene in the vlog, please. So I finished. Let me cut this off. Um, y'all saw the big pile of clothes that was on the floor. Um, well, this up here is gym clothes. That's wigs. That's some like underclothes and stuff like that. But the actual clothes that I kept. Um, that's it. That that's literally it. I got. Uh, one going out dress. Uh, I got a few dresses for church. Child, I don't even know the last time I've been to church, but that's a whole nother conversation. Um, I got a, a couple shirts, uh, two jackets. Uh, these are my robes. That's a swimsuit. So, I, I don't have anything to wear. Okay, but I do have two loads of clothes downstairs in the washer and dryer, but this is literally it. Like, this, this is it. So, y'all definitely about to get some fashion content because I need some clothes to wear. But I ain't even mad because like seriously, starting in 2020, I went into a really dark place. And yeah, I still had to show up for YouTube and stuff like that because it's my job. But uh, I, I was in a dark place, y'all. I was in a rut. And like the old me, pre-COVID shutdown of the world, honey, you couldn't keep heels off my feet. I had all the accessories, all the clothes, baby. I used to get it in, but Starting with COVID, like something happened to where I became a graphic tease and a leggings type girl. And that's not really me. So I got rid of a lot of that. A lot of it was worn out anyway. It just, it didn't look good. So I ain't mad at all. I'm ready for this new season of my life. Listen, if you've ever been through a dark stage and you finally shake back, baby, that empowerment, it's, it's a, it's a self-love on a whole nother level. So I ain't even mad at this. This just give me reason to shop. And, uh, I, I need to also go get something to eat because I did a lot of work and I'm hungry. Bye. So we're back in the closet uh, because I got a dilemma. So um, I got a call from one of my sister friends. Absolutely love her. Uh, she passed her brokerage exam. She's in the field of real estate. So shout out to Ebony. Uh, but the thing is, she wants to have a celebration dinner. Great. But I just did this purge and I ain't got nothing to wear. Oh my God. Let's sit y'all right there for a second. This is a horrible angle. Just, just pretend y'all see something. Anyway, so I was thinking I got this one skirt. Um, It's green and it has a split. Oh, you know, because we got her being fast or whatever. You know? So I'm thinking um, I could, because I got a black bodysuit. They, honey, they make the gal sit up. Okay, you understand me? So I was thinking I could wear this skirt put a black bodysuit and then I could look for a cropped leather jacket that would make that cute put some gold accessories give me some black heels that would make it yeah um or I could even um I was thinking of since this is kind of like a sweater material I was thinking if I could look for like a crop cream type sweater um make that work with this and then put some nude shoes on child i don't know what i want to do but i'm thinking i'm going to make this the focal point but what i said i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to be open i'll either look for some dresses or whatever but i'm going to shop online first and see what's available in store so i can know what store i want to go to versus just hopping around on all these other places child just know i'm in distress i picked the wrong time to just go all clean and all this child i ain't got nothing to wear so I just pulled up back to West County Mall. Um, when I was doing my Google searches to kind of see what the stores had, it looked like Express was my best option. If they don't have anything, then I'm gonna check out H&M, but I'm hoping that I look up and find something real cute at Express. Zara, if y'all see this, please come to St. Louis, please. I know y'all don't want to, and I don't even want to be here, but still, come. So that was a bus. They have, listen to me, they have some super cute stuff, but it's a sale going on. So all the stuff that I want, all the largest are gone. So I'm like, dang, I definitely can't even rock out in the small. So let's see what H&M is talking about. Hopefully I find something cute. So I'm in the fifth room right now. And I'm gonna just tell you now, pickings with slim. So I'm gonna show you what I got. So first option is this crop sweater. 
I was thinking about either some jeans or some navy pants. I know this looks black, but it's actually navy. So I found it was kind of cute. I mean, it's not my favorite, but I could rock it without a jacket. So this is option number one. This one, just, just ignore it, y'all know. And this one, I think it's the one. It's just a crop sweater. And I was thinking I could either do that green skirt I showed y'all, or I could do some jeans with some heels. I don't know, but I feel like this is so versatile. I can get a lot of wear out of this. So this, I think it's a winner. And for the record, let me also say, Say hey. 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 Okay, say hey. Say hey, everybody. Y'all on YouTube. Say hey. 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 Like, don't like six years ago, he was like, stop putting them on social media. Yeah, and I'm like, why? He was like, you don't know who's watching. Well, my kids eventually, somebody walked up to them and was like, I watched y'all grow up on Facebook. Yeah, they did. And it was like, Mama, don't put us back on there. I'm like, okay, well, we're gonna compromise. Yeah, holidays, birthdays, y'all going on. And that's my thing, like when it comes to my baby, it's like I show glimpses of him just enough for you to know he exists, but you don't know his daily life. Now, I never said my son's real name on the internet because it's like I don't ever want it to be where he walking down the street and somebody yell his real name. So it's like people will be asking, can they see that? And I understand, but I'm like, nah. That's why I messed up at a time. I've had her in those I don't do it no more. I don't have her on there as much now. You know how do I do and they had some, we've been in the store and somebody was talking about, they were talking to me. They said her name was like, I'm I mean, I'm done. And I was like, yeah, what you think about it? I'll be like, is your mama named Catherine? Are you Catherine? Yes. Like, yeah. And okay, you, I've been getting yeah. up. And what happened is, I found out like on TikTok, you, like on YouTube, you don't know who watch it. On TikTok, you still don't know, but you can see, like if it's a video of your kid, you can see, usually a lot of people save those videos to their phone more. So you don't know what they're doing with this video. It's this one particular girl, I can't even remember her name. I knew it all the time. Yeah, but she'll do like, suggest the thing, like having her daughter eat a hot dog or a popsicle or stuff. And then when she does that, like if you look at the saves on the video, it's way hot. It's like you don't know what you these got, creepy you people doing. Really, you feeding into some Yeah. Into some so I'm very people. particular and about what I show with my baby yeah. for that reason. And people keep asking, we want to see them. And I'm like, I understand that, but no. I hope that you guys can see me. Okay, so we had an amazing time at dinner. It was so nice just to be outside amongst women. Like I love being at home with my baby. That's a great thing, but it is nice to get a break sometime. And I definitely don't get to um, dress up and put heels on and stuff like that that often. So this was really, really nice for me. Unfortunately, we did have to shut down everything really early. Um, because a family emergency happened and y'all know of course family first so we shut that down um but i haven't eaten yet like we were doing the girly thing while we were waiting on our food we was taking pictures so um by the time the food came out we already knew we needed to leave um so i'm at a dilemma we're kind of a crossroads i just pulled up to the sushi spot and i was thinking about getting myself just like maybe a drink and something to eat just because i just i don't want to go home i love home but i just don't want to be there right now i definitely i don't get dressed up like this i don't get to go out like this i definitely don't wear heels that much so i really just kind of wanted to enjoy being outside especially like the babies with dj so like they having boys night and i'm just I don't want to participate in boys night. I want to be outside even if I'm by myself. But the only issue is, y'all know I don't have a problem eating alone in no situation. Like, listen, I'm outside. But I usually do it in the daytime because I feel a lot safer in the day. Um, I've never gone out alone at night before. So I just, I don't know what I want to do if I want to walk in. Because I actually pulled up to the place. Um, It's a... Uh, uh, a sushi spot called the drunken fish i've been on there um i've been there with the camera before so y'all seen it um i don't know what i want to do i just know i don't want to be at home and like my friends all parents and stuff like that so i'm getting them to change their plans last minute i just i don't know what i want to do all right so i decided it was better to be safe than sorry although i wanted to be outside 
I didn't quite feel the safest being outside 10 p.m. or so by myself. So I decided to come home. So we're going to wrap this vlog up and say thanks for chilling with us. If y'all have any questions, leave me down below. I love y'all, Marky Cat. And we out this piece. Say bye, baby. Say bye, baby. Say goodbye. Let's say goodbye. You gonna say goodbye. <laughs> That's the closest to the smile y'all gonna get. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Why are you looking mean? Why are you looking mean, babe? Why are you looking at me, babe? <laughs> Bye, y'all.